everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Welcome to today's hot, hot video. We are doing, uh, we are doing muscle car today. We're going full muscle car. And when I say muscle car, I say beach car, lake car as well. And you say, Tone, why beach car or lake car? Did you pull it from, the, from a lake? No, of course we didn't pull it from a lake. It's a lake car because you can take a bunch of people in it with you. Or a beach car where you can take all kinds of cool people and you got great style. Imagine picking people up in a minivan. God give you strength. A minivan, right? Or this cool Torino GT convertible, right? Seat six, five people, sorry, five people. Uh, and you got all kinds of room inside there. It's a full size car. It sounds great. It looks great. We're going to spend a few minutes looking at some of what's uh, what makes this car so different, not to mention its low build count. Remember, they built almost 100,000 Torinos that year. We're talking about uh, one of 928. Sorry, I got to look at the piece of paper, but it's hard to remember everything about every car ever built. All right, so a lot of times people say to me, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but a lot of times you don't really know why it's a great looking car. So let's point out some of the things that make it that way. We're talking about a 69 grill, which is a pretty nice looking grill, especially with this red sports stripe in the middle of it here. You got the hood scoop for the Cobra Jet there. Uh, it's just a great styling car. You're seeing the white interior through the glass. But really most important is the color of the paint. You know, we're talking about burnt orange, which is a really cool color for that year. First off, it's not a car color that you would get today, which makes it so much different looking, right? Than say, if this was a red car or a black car, you can get a red or black car today uh, in a modern car. But here, you know, this color is very period correct. It looks really cool. But what I like to do is look at the quality of the paint. So what we do here is we come on here and we check this out here see how you can read every letter in there nice and crisp right not that you can just see the picture but you can see every letter nice and crisp that is good quality paint all right so let's take a peek under the hood and you know what maybe this is not uh, an important piece for you but if you want to go to a car show or something like that this is nicely detailed in here right it's painted the correct ford blue it's got the cool factory air cleaner still on it with the uh the pcv still system in place and like things like the washer bottle and you know details under the hood and then there's some other things in here that are important that we forget to ask about and that is power disc brakes you know because we assume that every car today comes with uh, disc brakes and power steering that every car that you're going to look at here in the 60s and 50s and 70s are going to have it they don't all have it so really what we're talking about here is having power steering which is a big deal on big cars or old school cars having power steering is really nice and this also has power disc brakes which makes driving it even better detailed things like the horns here and you say well tone isn't it supposed to have horns well so many of these cars come in the horns don't work the turn signals don't work stuff like that uh, that didn't people didn't fix and we do that stuff here so when you get a car uh, all of those little things uh, work like they're supposed to all right, so I like to talk a little bit about the style first before we do, before we get into the trunk, and I'll tell you why I go to the trunk when we get there. But when you look at this, this is great looking from behind. You know this is a classic car. It's got dual exhaust too that sound great. Also, when you're riding behind, you see the white interior with the cool gauges and the wheel, things like that. That is an awesome piece. However, I like to point out things like the restoration of cars. And some cars are restored more than others. For instance, like this car has the correct tartan mat in here. Uh, we upgraded the steering wheel because it had the stock wheel on it, but it comes with it as well. The steering wheel is next to this horn button. It also has a detailed uh, spare tire and the jacking parts in here. And you say, well, Tone, isn't it supposed to have all this stuff? And yes, it's supposed to, but nine times out of 10, we don't get those things, right? We have to order the mat. We have to put in a spare tire or, or things like that. This came and it says to me that somebody took the extra step, right? To, win it, to, to make this so that, uh, you know, you got a detailed car. The last part of it is that this is a great summer, winter car, whatever. You want to go traveling with it, throw a couple bags in here, put some chairs in here, go to the beach, go to a, a car show, right? There's plenty of room in here to take your stuff. It's functional. You can use it. It's not jammed like a tiny little car. It's just great, great things to move around in and sounds nice when you close things and just looks good too. All right, so come join me in here because this is where you're going to spend most of the time. And listen, we were talking about quality of restoration. Like there's little things about cars, for instance, that make some cars more restored than others. This has the footwell lighting that's working here. The clock is working. Like the clock probably didn't work in 1971, just a couple years after it was new, right? It's working. It says to me that somebody put the detail into kind of finishing up some of those things. Uh, you got a nice full array of gauges here and lights. This has an upgraded audio system. It looks like it's a stock audio system. However, it's a digital unit and you can add things like uh, Bluetooth to it as well. 
It already has a plug in here for uh, headphone jacks or an upgrade for CD changers and what have you. Console and buckets, another option, right? The GT with this looks good. The dash is so beautiful. You got room in the back for like three adults or four kids or whatever. I mean, it's just a nice full-size car. I'm 6'1". I have so much room in here. I can go for rides all day long. That's why I say it's a great beach car, lake car. You can drive for a long time, put some people in here and have a really, really good time. All right, so we close up the video on this cool muscle car, man. We're talking about 69 Torino GT convertible, one of 928 built, loaded with cool stuff like, you know, power disc brakes and power steering, cool colors and style and what have you, uh, buckets and console, seating for five. I mean, it's just it's a great car that you can enjoy, like on the road, uh, I don't know, just wheeling around. It's just a great car. Car shows, beach, lake weekend imagine going out to dinner with another couple in this car like this it's really really cool not to mention it's a super rare car as well anyway call us 01-816-1000 we'll tell you all about it and uh, if you don't mind uh, share this with your friends this video here and uh, you can click right below like the video and i think uh, if you subscribe to it the channel you'll uh, get to see some of our new content as well